How's the hang guys? Cast Talk 303 coming from my computer to yours, bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi battle. Now, this is against uh, another friend. You haven't seen me battle yet. His name is Nick, and this was the first battle we had. I remember we went into a battle, and he brought his Yveltal, and I was just like, what the hell, dude? No legendaries. So we canceled that match, and then we had this one. And this was, I was rocking a Sand Storm based team. So, as you can see, I have Tyranitar, Fortress, Reuniclus. Mawile, Gu not Gubite, <laughs> Garchomp, and Hippowdown. Now, Reuniclus doesn't get hurt from the Sandstorm because of Magic Bounce, or Magic Guard, one of those. So, that's good. The whole point was to have Sandstorm up the whole time, and having Pokemon that either benefited from it, or weren't affected by it. So, that's why they're all ground, or steel, or whatever. So, let's get into this battle. Now, most of my Pokemon... Besides Mawile and Garchomp, they're not really offensive. They're stally, if you want to say. They just what my goal is is to have residual damage slowly take out your team, and then if that doesn't work, I come in and finish you off with Garchomp or Mawile because they're really strong. So I lead with my Tyranitar. He leads with his Greninja. He goes for the Surf. It's super effective, but doesn't do that much because Tyranitar is a special wall get my rocks up which is good you always want to get those up and he gets buffeted by the sandstorm that's what I'm talking about by residual damage so he goes for the hydro pump and he misses because it doesn't have good accuracy I go for the stab rock slide and that's gonna take out at least 60% that thing's not living another one and he gets hurt by the sandstorm too so he goes for the ice beam I don't know why he didn't go for another surf the ice beam doesn't do much I go for the pursuit thinking he's gonna switch which he doesn't so it does not that much damage, but he gets hurt by the sandstorm and he's in the red. He's almost gonna die. So he just goes for a super effective surf, knowing it there's no point in switching out, only to switch into rocks. And he actually manages to kill me. I guess he got minimum damage on the last one and he got max on this one, and that's why it killed me. And he gets buffeted by the sandstorm, but it's not enough to kill him. So he's probably at like one or three HP. I bring in my spine cone, which is my fortress. He goes for the Surf, I know that's not going to do much to me. I just go for the Spikes knowing he's going to die this turn, so I might as well hurt whatever's going to switch in. So I get up one layer of Spikes, he gets hurt by the Sandstorm, and there goes his Greninja. So now it's 5v5 currently. He sends out his Magnezone, which is Steel, and it has Magnet Pulse, so I can't switch out, and he's not going to get hurt by the Sandstorm, but he gets hurt by the Spikes and the Rocks. He goes for the Thunderbolt, it's not going to do too much to me. Even though I'm not special wall, it's just not very effective. I went for the leak seed and missed, which fucking sucks. Because now I have to take another turn of damage. So it goes for the Electro Ball, which is going to do a lot of damage. Because this Spine Cone is 0 IV in speed and EV in speed. And it's probably got a speed hindering nature too. Because I think it has Gyro Ball. So I get the leak seed up, which is good. Get some health back. And then I go for the Protect. Just to get more health back and to waste his turn so he goes for another electro ball but it's gonna be a waste sandstorm goes away unfortunately that's no good I want my sandstorm back so leak seed gives me some health back however it's not gonna be enough to live another attack so he goes for another electro ball knowing it's his most powerful move and he takes me out so now right now it's 4v5 and I don't have a sandstorm up so I bring in my ground pound which is my hip out on it's holding a the rock that makes sandstorm last nine turns. I don't know what it is. Sand rock or something? Anyway, my sandstorm gets set up. He switches, not wanting to die to an earthquake. He goes into his go-go. Now, go-go's are usually physically offensive, so I'm not too worried about it, except for maybe a horn leech, but I think I could take whatever he sends at me. So I just go for an earthquake. He gets hurt by rocks and spikes earlier, and now by the sandstorm, and I realize I don't, he's probably going to go for the Horn Leech to get health back. And I don't want to risk losing my Hippowdon in case I need to bring the Sandstorm back in. So he actually goes for a Grass Knot. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why he has that instead of Horn Leech. It's a much better move to have. And his Grass Knot does like crap to my Reuniclus, which I named Gelatinous. Because it reminds me of Jello. So he goes for the Bulldoze, which is a ground move. And it's not going to do that much because I've got max defense on this thing. But it does lower my speed. However, I land a Focus Blast, which is always helpful, and he's down. 
There goes his go-go. That's always good. Don't want to deal with that thing because my team is ground, really. He has some leftovers recovery. This thing is not going anywhere. So he brings in his Tyrantrum, which is Rock Dragon. So it's not going to get hurt by the Sandstorm. And he gets hurt by the stones and the spikes. So he's at like 75%. And that's always nice. It's any damage you can get on a switch and is always nice. So I go back into my ground pound knowing these things are physically offensive. And he goes for the crunch probably because of strong jaw. And I'm hoping he didn't breed so he could get ice fang because that would suck. And obviously he didn't if he goes for the dragon claw. And my hip on is just eating those up. So I go for the super effective Earthquake, super effective Stab, and it's not enough to kill him. He's down into the red, almost dead, but it's not enough. So he goes for a Rock Smash, just trying different moves, trying to get the most damage. And I realize I just kill him on a switch in, so I roll rent him out and bring out his Pangora. I was hoping for his Magnezone so I could get an Earthquake on that thing and kill it, but his Pangora comes out instead. And he gets hurt by the Spikes and the, the Rocks. Now, and he gets hurt by the sandstorm because I whirlwinded him. So, he has Mold Breaker, which means any ability is not going to affect moves. So, I go back into my Gelatinous, knowing I could take any physical move he wants to throw at me. And he goes for the Circle Throw, which actually switches me back out. And it switches me into my Gark Chomp. And I realize this is probably the best thing, the Gark Chomp, to keep in. So, I just go for the Earthquake. And let's see how much it does. It doesn't kill him. It doesn't kill him yet, which is, I, I think it's silly, but whatever. Should have killed him. He goes for power up punch. Does not that much damage on me. And he gets an attack boost. So sandstorm ends, so he's not going to die from the sandstorm. So I have to go for another move. I just go for a dragon claw. Got my gnarly. It's got G-N-A-W, as in to gnaw on something. I love that nickname. So he brings out his Magnezone, which gets hurt by Spike and Rocks on the switch, in. and I just go for the four times effective Earthquake, just hoping to outspeed this thing, because I, I don't know Magnezone's base speed, and I do, because I'm pretty sure it is a jolly Garchomp, so it's not dealing with any shit. And he switches in his Drapion, which he probably should have led with to get some Toxic Spikes, because that would have hurt. Uh, he gets hurt by the spikes and rocks, of course. I go for the earthquake, trying to get that super effective damage on that, and it is, and it's enough to kill him. I guess Drapion's not too buff, so the earthquake just kills him, and now he sends out his Tyrantrum, which I believe is all he has left, and it dies on the switching from the rocks and the spikes. And I love doing that. I love when the last Pokemon just switches in and then dead. I, fi I find that hilarious. Oh, well, there you go. I beat Nick. Uh, it was a nice, exciting battle. I liked it because it was a different team. You don't see my Blissey and all that. Nice sand-based team. Something new for you, you know? So go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments. Leave a rating. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and why you didn't like it. Uh, I'll be doing battles with you guys, too, if you want. Uh, just ask. I'll drop my friend code down below, and we could battle whenever. Uh, it'd be nice if you had, like, Twitter or something. I could communicate with Skype, maybe, just so that... Because I, I can't always check YouTube, but I could check Twitter and stuff on my phone while I'm out so we could plan. Because I got work and college is starting up today, actually, when you're watching this. So, yeah, but I'll be doing more battles with people, subscribers and stuff. And I'll do some new battles, like, on the internet, too, just so I could get some new teams going around. But, uh, you go ahead and subscribe for more content, more battles, let's plays, all that fun stuff. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.